motorhomes fantastic they've got uh, leisure batteries 12 volt power which is great for charging your laptops um, iPads I, uh, iPhones that sort of thing but quite often they don't supply any sockets inside um, the living the habitation area so people take one of these and they tend to plug them in the front of their vehicle and to charge their, their iPhone their phones whatever but what tends to happen is uh, they sit for three or four days charging their phone every day and they run their engine battery down and then can't start their engine that's what happened to my friend Pete here so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're actually install this into a into his 12 volt leisure battery so he can then charge it from his leisure batteries which is being charged by his solar panels as you can see it's a lovely sunny day so perfect <laughs> This is what we're going to install it into. This is uh, under the seats. Um, you can tell which is a positive side because there's a little plus just here. It's same on all batteries. It'll be there somewhere. First things first, we need to know which of these wires coming out of here is the positive. We do that quite simply by taking it apart and having a bit of a look. Now here you can see that's the center that's the center one that's the, that's the one that was going to the little pin so that will be the positive and we can see the positive is the one with the writing on so now when we look down here we know that one with the writing on is positive so we can do the extreme now if you look down here we're going to connect it to the positive and the negative. You need to strip the wires, obviously. But one thing that's very important with these is um, when you plug this into your cigarette lighter and thing, there's a fuse protecting it. Well, if we wire that directly to the batteries, there won't be fuse. So we've got one of these. we we'll plug a, and I always use a 10 amp fuse. Just plug that in place. fuse needs to be on the live wire which we decided was the one with the writing on which is that one we use a little block connector one of them one thing we did discover just now is that this cable isn't long enough this cable so we're gonna add an extension onto it you know in woodwork where they say measure twice, cut once. Well, it's the same thing with you doing electrics. Always double check what you're doing before you do it, because otherwise you end up having to do it again. And I know that from personal experience. and it's the wrong size right I don't have any that size cut, just just cut there you yeah. go just like Pete said cut it well done Pete nice and tight and now on this one what we're going to do is undo one of these nuts here I think right so that's it job done and it's literally as simple as that but please safety put a thin line fuse and your whole problem of not being able to start your engine it's over thank goodness for <laughs> that, that. Here we right. go. Plug it in, let's see if it works. There it is! Hey! Yappy! Yeah, yeah. Very happy. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> it doesn't...